Hello and welcome to Beyond NSU. I'm your host, Chloe Ryan, and today we are joined with JJ Mayo, a Norfolk State University graduate, class of 2020. JJ studied mass communications and journalism as his major. This afforded him the skills and opportunity to work as a radio talent, as well as help cultivate local talent as a public relations specialist. Thank you for joining us, JJ. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I can't complain. All right. So you are here. You're back at home. I know you were here, was it last month, to speak with a couple of students? I don't even know. I just love being back at oh. home. So well, you're <laughs> back at home. Good, right? <laughs> How is it feeling to be back? It always feeling feels nostalgic? Great. It feels good all the time. It does. That's great. That's great. That's great. So I wanted to ask you, what made you want to come to NSU in the first place? Ooh, so... Fun fact, a lot of people don't know this. Um, I used to work a lot of dead-end jobs. I would work two and three jobs at the same time. And every night on my commute home, there was this song that would play on the radio at the exact same time every night. And I loved this song so much. And um, I just, I couldn't, I tried to Shazam it, tried to find it, could mm -hmm. not find it. So I looked at the station and I never knew what the station was, but when I Google searched it, that's when I realized it was Norfolk State's radio station. Oh. That song and that radio station was what brought me here. Oh, wow, okay. And that would, that's what encouraged you to go into mass communications and journalism, or that, what made you want to go into that? So what, um, I originally came here because I knew the job of choice that would make me happy would be working in radio. I think that many of our parents work jobs that they hate, and we always hear our parents say, mm -hmm. oh, I hate my job, I hate my job. To break that, you have to find a job that you actually enjoy doing. And I told myself, that I, well, I didn't tell myself, I found in myself that I knew the job that would make me happy waking up every morning and going to it and never get tired would be radio. So I decided to go ahead and take my chance at college and work my way into it. And where did this enjoyment of radio come from? It came from the fact that I, I love to talk, <laughs> I love music, and I mean, if you look at my progress reports back in elementary school, I mean, I, I never got the smiley face on my progress <laughs> reports because I talked too much in class. So I knew I, that that is where I needed to be. Okay. So talking really was the root of you wanting to get into radio? Yes. All right, and how have your experiences here, well, what organizations were you involved in? Before I ask about your experiences, what organizations were you involved in? I wasn't involved in any. I came into college at a later age. Mm -hmm. um, I am I am 30 plus. <laughs> you don't look like it. Thank you, and I, I graduated 2020, but um, while in, in school, I, I viewed many of my peers as almost like baby brothers and baby sisters, because you guys are the age of my baby brothers and baby sisters. <laughs> so. I, I would go to work and I'd go to class, but if any of my peers needed anything, I, I was there. That just basically was me. Oh, that's nice. And would you say your experiences here, your coursework, how did that, well, how did that help you prepare for your future? Oh gosh, um, I had phenomenal professors from Dr. Jackson to Dr. Kirby, Mills, um, uh, Dr. Marsh, I can't forget Dr. Brockington. These are all mm -hmm. people who helped cultivate me and, and really helped me learn to go beyond the classroom and become great. They gave me those tools and, and I'd be a fool to not use them. Oh, that's great. All right, so using those tools post-graduation, what career ventures have you, you know, so I, um, originally I started um, while at NSU, I was an intern for Intercom Communications. Now it's, it's called Odyssey, but back then it okay. was Intercom. And Intercom houses Z104, 94.9 The Point, 95.7 R&B, and 101.3. And I was a promotions guy for each of those stations, and I ended up being the head promotions guy. I was literally the most oh. requested promotions guy during my run with the company. Um, mm -hmm. When COVID came, though, it kind of dissolved my journey, right, mm -hmm. as I was rising in the ranks. Mm -hmm. But I stayed persistent. I, I, was, I was with it, and they called me right back. I ended up getting picked up for a project where I was sponsored by McDonald's, and here I am now a talent for Z104 and Q94 in Richmond. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Thank you. So what was it like going from promotions to actually hosting? Um, it, to me, I think it it still plays the same part because mm -hmm. I think when you're promotions, your job essentially is to make the talent's job a little easier, but you're still learning how to, to, to be the talent itself. Mm -hmm. But there are days where you have an event and there is no talent attached to it, so you yourself become the talent. And that's essentially how that, that became a thing. 
I mean, that plus my personality, and mm -hmm. I am a, a Spartan, so, you know, yeah. it works. <laughs> so you'd say the, doing promotions before becoming a host actually helped you, I think in a sense? It, it goes even further. My internship actually started in the sales department, and because I started in the oh. sales department, I ended up learning how the entire building works. So it helped me better navigate how to get to where I needed to get to. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're about to dive a little deep here. Okay. So you've had a brush um with the law prior to completing your degree yes could you tell me a little bit about that okay so <laughs> um i at the age of 18 had a run-in with the law which gave me five felonies on my record um those five felonies i was told would stop me i was told i'd only be able to work at a warehouse i'd never be able to go to college and and i was just told all these things i can't 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 but mm -hmm. When people tell me I can't, I accept the challenge and I just push with it. So here I am now, not only a TCC grad, transferred over to Norfolk State, I'm now a Norfolk State grad, and to this day, they told me I'd only be able to work warehouse work. I've never worked at a warehouse a day in my life. Wow. <laughs> As you should. Look at you. Thank you. <laughs> Beating the narrative that they tried to create for you. Exactly. I like that. Thank you. So can we talk more about the felonies? Yes. So, um... <laughs> So I, um, I was working at a credit union mm -hmm. and I had a friend who had fallen on hard times with his family and at mm -hmm. the time I was coming out of the closet and having issues at home myself. Mm -hmm. And we continued to make these jokes about robbing the bank and running away together. Rob the bank and run away together and it was a joke that became a reality and oh, we wow. actually did it. Yeah, and we got caught. <laughs> Hits yeah. the five felonies. <laughs> so, what did, so what did you learn from this experience? Um, I, learned, um, I learned to be patient, one. Um, and two, I learned that, it, it's funny that I'm going to tie this in, but I also work as a jewelry consultant, but one of my favorite sayings okay. that came from this is pressure makes diamonds. So if you feel that you're under immense pressure, don't crack, because a diamond will pressure. You will make it through. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. I sure will. Wow, your story is so inspiring. I'm so invested. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you said you work... Um, at a jewelry store? Yes, I work for uh, so K Jewelers. So what does your day-to-day -day look like? You know, hosting, working at K? It, it, it is. How do you make it work? I, I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you. It's very <laughs> random. Um, as a, an event talent and a talent for Z104, mm -hmm. I am I'm all over the place. I could be doing a tour of the station. I could be doing recordings on air live. I, I, we also have segments that we do online. I've done social media posts. Mm -hmm. um, I've created events as well. Um, as a jeweler, they basically will pick up whatever hours the radio station doesn't pick me up on. And as okay. a jeweler, I go in and I help people get whatever it is they want. So when you come in, if you want to get married, let's get married. If you want to get a gift for your mom, we're going to get mom a gift. And that, that's what I do. And literally, I utilize those same skills that I attain here in mm -hmm. mass communications to actually effectively sell to all of my customers as well, too. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah. So what's next between hosting and K-Jewelers, you know? It seems like you have a passion for both. Yes. So what's next? Um, next is, is continue to build my brand here. Uh, um, I like to share with people that your name is not as big anywhere as it is at home. Mm -hmm. You can't sit back and keep saying you want to travel and go somewhere else, but your, your name means nothing here because they're going to call back home and figure out who you are. So mm -hmm. right now I'm in a stage of brand building and building who I am. Um, one of the things that I'm doing to actually build that brand is I am now a contestant on behalf of Z104 as um, a dancer for Dancing with the Stars Hampton Roads. What? Yes. Okay. So um, I, my dance partner, she's my pro, her name is Ali, and um, me and Ali definitely are going home with a trophy this year. Wow. <laughs> Got to do it for not only Odyssey and Z104, but I have to do it for NSU, because I don't know if we have any students who've done that, but I'm going to make so. sure I, I blaze that I didn't trail. even know that's, we, we had a Dancing with the Stars Hampton Road. Yes, and all proceeds go to uh, the Virginia Arts Festival and to the uh, Governor Arts, the School of the Arts. Oh, so, that's great. Yeah. That's great. That is great. Well, that is all the time that we have for today for this episode of Beyond NSU. I would like to thank our guest, JJ, for joining us, and I would like to thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm your host, Chloe Ryan, and as always, remember, behold the green and gold.